Welcome to One Sound, Yacht Point of the Street, your favorite gospel channel in Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large. Here at One Sound, we ensure you are blessed with content that are edifying, impactful, and spirit filled. As you watch, remain blessed and kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and turn on the notification bell to get informed when we upload new videos. Thank you. Jesus was a Jew. And they came to Jesus and said, you have to come and pay temple tax. And according to the local law, he's not supposed to pay temple tax because his dad is a Jew, his mom is a Jew. He's exempted from temple tax. And all his disciples are exempted from temple tax because they wanted to offend Jesus. They wanted him to react. They wanted him to fight. They knew they were wrong. The ground of their demand was wrong. But what they wanted was not the demand. They wanted Jesus to react. They wanted Jesus to fight. And Jesus said, so that we will not offend. We are in the right. But Jesus will never fight to claim his right. So that we do not offend. That was where he spoke to Peter and asked him to go take, find a hook. So Jesus knew that even though Peter was following him, he still had a spare hook. Just, just in case ministry does not work out. <laughs> Say, so reach back to that hook. I'm aware the hook is there. I've been seeing it. So now we have need for the hook. Take out that hook. And you know, Peter didn't, said, he didn't there was no question. <laughs> go and go and get us fish. I don't know whether you think on scriptures when you read them. Because this fish that has a gold coin in his mouth, the gold coin belonged to one of the fishermen. And the, the guy had locked the, the coin fell into the river. A fish came and so if the fish is going to hold the coin in his mouth, how will it how did the hook work? You are not with me. I am a thinker. I sit and say, how did this scripture? For years, how did, how, how did that hook work? Because the fish must be interested in eating something that is bait before the hook will. Is it that the hook caught the fish by the side? Even the fisherman that went fishing that day came out puzzled. Are you there? And Jesus went to pay temple tax even though by right he was not supposed to pay. He didn't give them the opportunity to see how he reacts. To see how he fights. Jesus. That's how Jesus is. Are you there? So Jesus in you doesn't fight. It's the flesh that fights. It's the flesh that wants to prove a point. Jesus has no point to prove. If you don't believe in him, he's still God. If you believe in him, he's God. His status doesn't, he doesn't need advertisement. He is who he is, whether I believe him or not. It's only a privilege on my own part to even to know him. The author of life. Are you there? Okay. So, you are going to, there is a battle that you are going to be fighting perpetually because of the flesh. So that you can always reveal God in every situation. Because that's what the image of God does. The image of God reveals God. In the midst of lack, God is expecting you to reveal him. There, there's a way human beings that have no hope will behave if there is no lack. Because of your knowledge of God, you cannot behave the same way. There are things that human beings will do in order to get finances, which are against the laws of God, that you cannot do because you are the image of God. Somebody down the street that doesn't have a Bible, the only opportunity the person has to know that God exists is your life. 
So as you begin to function, allowing God to be the one on display, that person has the opportunity to see God in your vessel. The Bible says that the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Now, if you read it from the Greek, it reads, the disciples were first called little Christs in Antioch. It means that Jesus was on rampage in the city because the believers were actually images of God. And Christ was revealed in every vessel. Their speech, their silence, the way they did things put christ on display that's what we mean when we say the image of god the flesh has become embattled they have put him in a place of captivity and now christ has the opportunity to manifest through their vessel and everyone could read him in the lives of the people of god are you there okay the reason why we were created in the likeness of god is because god had an in intention that we will represent him so if God has a meeting to attend, he sends you say, can you, can you be so kind as to represent me? So I knew I'll be representing him today. So I, I prayed all day, all day, all day, because I need to know what he is saying so that I will say what he's supposed to say if you were physically present here. So if I come here and I start telling you my own stuff, it means that I have lost sight of the fact that I'm supposed to be representing him. Are you there? Making this creature a very powerful being. A very powerful being that is in human form, but is manifesting God. The glory of God can flow through his life. The attributes of God can flow through his life. When you look at him, he, he is a strange specimen because he bears witness to the reality of God. You know, when Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, there was a challenge. The challenge that existed was that functionaries were needed that could bear witness of the resurrection of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah chapter 53, they are uh, prophecy of redemption you will see three questions of redemption there first question is who has believed our report second question to whom is the arm of the lord revealed so when you get to believe it is it the report in order for you to are you there to believe that a man was born without the agency of a father contradict science the only way you can believe it is by faith are you there so the things of god do not follow the normal natural processes and the reason why it is so it is so that man will know that there's something higher than his thinking his brain who has believed that report the only way you can believe it's because you have received understanding by faith. Do you still remember the uh, Hebrews chapter 11? The faith. Faith chapter. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful. It's the evidence of things not seen by it. The elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand. So I'm saying that there is an understanding that comes by faith. And there's no other way you can understand those matters except by faith. The question is, who has believed? Those things that you cannot reckon with outside of faith. Who among the sons of men believe? Because it's only to those that believe that the hand of God is revealed. Even though God is willing, God is eager, but his hand will only be revealed to those that believe his report. In verse 8, the Bible says he was taken from prison and from judgment who shall declare his generation. Now, God in verse 8 is looking for a representative. Because if Jesus were here, he would have been doing the work of God. Are you there? Preaching the kingdom. But the Bible says he was taken from prison. He was taken from judgment. Who shall declare 
is generation. There is always a need for God to be represented. And the need for God to be represented is the need that was supposed to be met when God conceived the vision of man. Are you with me? Alright, so go to our parliaments and check the laws that have been passed. Does it look like God has a representative in the land? Walk on our streets and find out what really captures the attention of men. You will now find out that he's still crying from judgment. He's still crying from prison. But the Bible says he was taken from prison. He was taken from judgment. Who shall declare his generation? The, the, the streets. The other day we were in Cardiff and uh, the whole place was filled up. No hotel room in that great city. And I, I was asking, what are we celebrating? I cars, they hold up all kinds of vehicles, just in case you have not seen the new versions of Kia. Just, you need to be in Cardiff, that day. you will see, you will see them. The new type of Bentley, the one that is like a horse. Just, oh my God, I, I saw all kinds of, and I was wondering what was the reason why so many people were coming together. They had a celebration. And the heart of their celebration, Jesus was not there. It means an imposter had come in and he had stolen the heart of the inheritance of God. The, those kind of things happen when he doesn't have a representative to speak for him. To reveal his mind. So this creature was supposed to be the representative of God. So he was supposed to function like God, in the likeness of God, so that he can represent him. He will be a custodian of the council of God. He will be a custodian of the power of God. So that if God needs to quicken somebody and do some supernatural stuff, he won't need to come down from heaven. Because he has a representative. Amen. So the question is this. Is the devil plundering your family? Is he plundering your siblings and your your descendants if the devil has the right of way to do plunder it means god has no man yeah he has no man they are men but none of them is a man in the likeness of the design that god had for man satan can play satan can plunder as long as God has no representative. The rule of darkness ends the day God has a man to represent his name. Amen. Just like Pastor Mike said, he said, he's been pastoring for a long time. They said, all right, can we take this trouble to where Satan has concentrated his effort? So he took a tent. You might say, oh, our pastor our pastor is oh my god can't he just hold his peace that kind of thinking is a kind of thinking someone sustains when he doesn't want to represent god are you there and meanwhile the people that represent the devil are not ashamed about it they are on the streets everywhere it, it will interest you to know that when cardiff became blocked um, people came to represent something in that city and they were very bold about it in fact in fact if you wanted your business to thrive you must you must show that you have sympathy for for them and, and then all will be well with you so we are in a state in a condition in a generation where denying jesus will make you stand on the popular side 
That kind of denial can only take place when God lacks representatives. The original reason for which man was conceived, the idea of man, and I tell you, it doesn't matter if I'm, if I'm burnt at the stake because of my conviction. It's too late. It will not change. You know I've said it many times. And I'll, hey, that, this is how I preach. I hope it's not too... Okay, so, uh, so this is how I preach. And I preach like this and a lot of people are offended. And many people have sent us messages that we are going to kill you. We are going to kill you. And I told them, hey, 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 hey. You people that want to kill us, you are cowards. Why send us a message? When you see us, kill us! That's the way to do it. No, don't send a message. You're, you're, you're wasted. No, it's just, you are, you are not serious. That's how desperate we are to represent him. And you cannot be a normal person if you want to represent him. Many of you, God brought you from the shores of Africa to come join our brothers in these lands so that we can team up in the labor of the gospel to promote revival and to extend the frontiers of the kingdom of God. But you came and found pound sterling. The British pound. The Scottish pound. And you, you discovered it was heavy. <laughs> oh my. And Jesus warned and he said that mammon has the capacity to command worship the same way God is entitled to human worship. All the way from Zimbabwe. Brought you from the southern part of Africa. It's about 11 hours flight time to Heathrow, London. I, I, I say it because we have, done, we have made those trips. You were on board for 11 hours. Seven years later, the description of your life is that you are looking for pound sterling. The reason the Lord opened the door was not for pound sterling. And if you were consumed with the purpose for which he brought you into this space, pound sterling would have followed you. But unfortunately, you are following pound sterling. And you followed it enough to the point where it has possessed your soul. Your thinking is by pound sterling. Your life is regulated. You are, hey, Jesus Christ. He was taken from prison and from judgment who shall declare his generation the other day we're in brazil and they said no no these guys don't like god we should move out of this place i said hey wait let's try and see if they don't like god so and i cannot speak portuguese i can't speak it so i got somebody that could speak to could interpret them was okay let's 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 meet this guy so we met him and i was asking the holy spirit can you tell me something about him something he knows i don't know then the Holy Ghost said, tell him that his God is upstairs. So I said, and I told you. I said, your God is upstairs. He said, yeah, how do you know my God? I said, if you have a God that you need to protect upstairs, he needs help. He needs, he needs your God needs protection. He needs to be. Meanwhile, and I said, how do you know that? My, I say, the reason why I know is because my God told me that uh, your false God is upstairs. Then he was willing to listen to us because I told him something that I, there was no other way I could know. Then I now told him about Jesus. That was how he gave his life to Christ. He went to the next person, told the person something about them. That they, that's how we let the church come. That's the place they stay there. They are gangsters. They are people. They will shoot you in Brazil. That they can just... Oh, we, we, we began to preach. It was in the heart of the market. Before we knew it, a crowd began to gather. So my host now said, you know what? Uh, we cannot protect you in this arrangement. We don't have protection for you in this arrangement. So they insisted that we leave the place. We were having the revival, enjoying ourselves. The blindfold on the hearts of men was being taken away just because, oh my God. Do you know what power? What power we have? Do you know? Do you do know? Do you know what capacity?
So this is how God sees man. My agency. The extension of my hand. The one that brings my essence into the three-dimensional space. He brings witness of me. He extends my authority into the earth and brings the kind of order on earth that is found in heaven. 